Hey YouTubers, um, today I'm going to show you how to fix a mouse. This mouse that I have is one of the old mouses that have the ball. And um, here it is, I got it at a yard sale. The clickers are up here. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, I'm not a yard sale thrift store. I'm going to use my screwdriver. Um, if you ever notice, when you go to use it, like, after it starts getting kind of old, that the mouse isn't responsive. Like, you move it up and it doesn't do anything. Or it goes really slow. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, on the back here, this one has four screws. One here. I'll pull that out here. mouses um, there isn't four there's usually one or two they can be under the stickers like there there's stickers on the bottom sometimes like this one um, sometimes they're under these white things the, the pads so it'll s smoothly run around so if you're struggling don't break it pop those off check check under the stickers sometimes if you take your finger out backwards rub along the stickers and look along the light there should be a bent like a bent in part, just round. And that usually will tell you there's a screw there. We'll pop this part here. There we go. There goes the ball. Um, this is what it looks like inside of a mouse. When this ball moves, like when it moves this way, runs this little track, this little wheel, which has holes in it. If you can see that, really small little holes. And there's an eye right here that picks up how, how fast that's moving. Uh, same thing for going up. But after a while, that starts not picking it up anymore. The first thing to check, hold this out here, where this ball rubs along this part right here, like where this moves, sometimes that gets dirty. So you take some uh, like cotton ball, rubbing alcohol, and clean this all off. Um, rubbing alcohol works the best uh, with any electronics. Um, if that still doesn't work, there's these little eyes, these black parts. And you move these up. Some, after a while, I don't won't know why, but these will start slanting back like this. So you bend these up a little bit. Not to where they're touching this wheel, but en enough up to where they're going to register. And this one's bent down. That's not very good. You want them to match up. So you bend this one back just... Oh. Yeah. So this, this part that transmits the signal into there straight. Um, you want to do the same for the other one. Move that one up. Move that one back just a little bit. Just want a straight signal across so it reads it. Um, rarely... And so, well, not rarely, but sometimes the ball will get dirty. So you just take a sponge and soap and wash it off and get that all clean. You just want clean things. Um, sometimes when you're reassembling it, make sure this wheel is in there. Because if this wheel isn't in there, it won't work. It'll stop working. Now this, this wheel has a tension on it, which I've never seen before in a mouse. But, uh, you still have a problem with your mouse not moving. I'm pretty sure you could probably pull this back and go once around again and have it really tight so your mouse is more responsive. Well, we're going to reassemble this. And just put the, the screws back in the same way. Make sure the case is all put together. And the mouse should work beautifully. Um, so, 
Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you learned something from it. See you later, YouTubers.